Hi there, welcome to the channel. I just thought in today's video we would do some cleanup in the grow tent here and do some succession planting, get some more things going. I have started this in, I think about mid-September is when I started growing things in here and we've been enjoying cucumbers, strawberries, tomatoes, and one, one pea. And we've got peppers coming and the cucumbers are starting to kind of die out so i got some more started so i want to get some more going so we can get some uh, succession planting going there with the cucumbers and i don't know if you can see my indeterminate tomato here this guy is growing all the way up to the top of the grow tent and i tried to put another light on it here to um, see if i could keep it alive because it's gone way past the uh, the lights here. I put another light in, but it's kind of dying out. It's taking up a lot of space and not really producing much anymore. So in today's video, we're going to remove this big guy out of here carefully. I think there's uh, a few other cucumbers and tomatoes all intertwined, so it's going to be a little bit tricky getting this out. And I'll give you a kind of a close up on the peppers that are coming and we will plant up a couple different cucumbers and get them ready to come into the grow tent. So as you can see here in the far corner of the grow tent, this indeterminate plant is growing way back here. It did get some blooms on it, but um, like I said, I, I set up a, another light here, but I think it just wasn't enough to keep it going. You can see that it's starting to wilt and die. So I'm just going to start at the bottom here and try to remove this plant and I'll try to keep the camera going here so you can kind of watch me and we'll just chat about the about the grow tent here while I do this. So this is my second year of using this grow tent. Last year I did some peppers and tomatoes in here and a few cucumbers but I was a little bit you know a novice didn't really know how much I could grow in here and uh, I had a bit of success with most of it, but um, this year I've really gotten into it. I love my grow tent. If if you want to do indoor, indoor growing during the winter or even year round, I guess, I highly recommend investing in a grow tent. Um, I believe this is a three by three and with the light here, I got it from Mars Hydro online can't remember if it was a sale or not but it was around $300 so it was you know a bit of an investment but for the amount of um, harvest that I'm getting out of here you know and this thing will last for years so I highly recommend grow tent gardening so I am going to start I think I'll just start hacking away at this it's the only way I can get it out of here just probably just cut it up and got some fairly thick stalks on it too but I got two other tomatoes growing behind here they're determinant beefsteaks and I really want them to be able to uh, you know maximize the light here and get growing and I think this guy's kind of been hogging a lot of space we did get lots of nice little cherry tomatoes off of this one I don't think I would do it indeterminate in the grow tent again it's just too hard to manage. Um, there's so many great determinant varieties that don't grow too big that uh, you can just succession plant, you know, throughout the winter or throughout the whole year if you uh, like to indoor garden year round. So we've got this cut out now. I just have to figure out which, where the rest of this plant went to. So I had it strung up with some of these little clips and strings tied to the ceiling. It worked out really good to, to keep it secure. And should be able to pull this right out of here. My cucumber looks like it might be a little bit hooked on it right now. 
Oh, there's a cucumber. Didn't even see that there. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. So this will have to just get chopped up and sent to the compost pile now. Yeah, that's really going to open things up in here nicely for these other tomatoes. So the two other tomatoes that I have going here is a bush, kind of a bush beefsteak. Like I say, this guy's been just hiding in the background and being ignored, but it has got lots of blooms coming. I thought, yeah, there's some coming down here and a whole bunch here. So I can feel it's pretty light too. I think it needs a good drink. This other one, I don't know. This is a, a tomato that I grew outside this summer that did not do, do well. It seemed like it was kind of diseased and I tr thought I would try growing it indoors. And as you can see, it's really not a happy plant. So I don't know. I feel like maybe the seeds were just not healthy. There's hardly any blooms coming on this. So it's, and it's big and gangly. So I don't know, this thing might get the ax here. So as you can see on this tomato, there's no blooms anywhere on this. Maybe a couple coming at the top here, but it's already growing past the light. So I'm probably going to have the same issue I had with that indeterminate one. So I think this, I'm going to just remove this tomato plant. It's just basically taking up space and maybe we'll get some new tomato seeds started. So I'll go through my tomato seeds and see which ones are the fastest growing that we can get another uh, batch going. We're just at the end of December here right now. So we still have a good four months of indoor growing time. Okay, so now I'm just down to the one determinant tomato the beef steak here and as I said it's feeling very light let's check the roots here there's just a little bit of uh, liquid left in the bottom you can see it's got nice healthy roots so I've just mixed up a batch of my hydroponic nutrients at full strength and I'm just gonna add in well, I usually just top up my containers here with two or three inches of water. It doesn't have to be filled up too much. And see we got some good blooms here. We got some coming here and here. Sometimes I just like to snip off the odd branch just to kind of take some of the weight off of it. And you know they're just sucking up nutrients. There's no blooms on any of these branches. And I'll cut this one off too. So, so far I haven't had to trellis this, which is nice, but I see the, the cucumber, if you can see that. The cucumber here is attached to this tomato, so we need to do some maneuvering here. So, I, as you can see here, I have strung some rope just across the the tent here just to give the cucumbers something to climb along and keep them under the lights and we're just gonna take out a few plants here just so I can get in here better this is what I love about my Folgers containers they're easy to move around they got these nice little handles you can just grab them get them out of the way okay so we have a tomato cucumber oh that's not too bad as you can see there is a cucumber coming here so I'm just gonna try and train it up this rope here wrap it around a bit so it hangs on it's got some something to hang on to so I still have three cucumber plants going here and I've started a couple more one that I have taken a a cutting from this Diva variety and have it rooted and it's ready to go into a container so we're going to set that up and I've also got a new um, cucumber seed called the Socrates that I um, just purchased and it's supposed to be a good one for indoor growing as well so all of these are the Parthenocarpic 
variety of cucumbers, which means they only produce female flowers, so you don't have to worry about pollination. So that's why these are good to grow in an indoor grow tent. So you can see some of the leaves on these cucumbers are starting to look a little brown, and it seems like the plants are starting to slowly die off. But um, like I say, they're still shooting out new fruit, and every once in a while, some of them don't live, some of them die and just fall off. But as long as they're still producing, I'll just let them keep growing here. So I just wanted to show you my pepper plants that are coming along. I haven't, we haven't got any fruit on them yet, but they are blooming like crazy. This is the, um, the Serrano pepper, so it's hot pepper. So like I said, whenever they get super light and feel like there isn't much water in there, I'll just show you the roots. Sometimes they have a little bit of algae, with a little bit of light coming through, but Seems to be okay. This here is uh, a baby bell pepper plant and it's getting so big I should have maybe trimmed it down a bit but I'll try to show you here. It's got such a nice strong stalk on it and I spotted a pepper somewhere. So there's the first pepper I've found see that there's some more little pepper coming there lots of blooms that are just starting to die off so there should be more peppers popping up here and there about every week or so I usually have to top up the uh, the nutrients on all my plants now I don't really worry about refreshing or removing I just mix up the batch at full strength and top everything up and it seems to be working I just also wanted to show you my sugar snap pea plant that uh, this was the latest thing that I started growing in the grow tent. It's been in here for I think about a month. Um, we did have one pea pod come off here that uh, Henderson and I got to share. So I've topped up this water with some stronger uh, nutrients because it's starting to get to that flowering stage. So hopefully I can get some more peas off of this. So I managed to rescue that cucumber from behind the screen over there, so we should be able to enjoy this tonight for supper. So now it's time to go plant up some new cucumber plants and go through my tomato seeds to see which uh, variety we should try starting. Okay, so now we're going to get the uh, Diva cucumber set up here in the Cracky hydroponic method. and. This is what it looks like. So I took a cutting from the Diva cucumber that I have growing. I've had it in water for about a month now, and as you can see, it's got some pretty good roots there. I've never tried this method before, so I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but we're gonna see how it goes. So as far as the nutrients, I got my three-part solution here that I mixed up at the early vegetative stage. So it's very you know, diluted, not too strong and also my cow magic is in there as well. So I'm doing this a little different. Usually I start my seeds in the rock mull in a net cup like here. So this is my other cucumber that we're gonna get planted up. And then, you know, you surround it with some clay balls and you have a hole cut to the right size for the net cup. So for this cutting, I'm gonna try something a little different and I purchased these locally but I'll, I'll leave a link to these below these are um, I can't remember what these are called it says you can see you can wrap it around your stem really nicely it holds it secure so this is the way I want to try growing it this way because I don't need a big hole to fit the a net cup I just made a small one so that this root will go right through And this little cap will just sit on top and stay secure. And then you just want to make sure that your roots are going to reach the water, which they are. So I'll have a good look at it here. And we will come back in future videos and check and see if this is uh, going to work. So I also got my Socrates seed uh, going here. You can see it's got a little bit of a root system. So I've got it set up in the crack key method as well. A couple tomato seeds are started. So 
If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and happy gardening.